As much as adding values, promoting peace and unity in life is pertinent, plotting and recognizing such human nature is another important aspect we all should build, as much is expected from one who is appreciated. The Myro Aid Mission, a non-governmental organization that promotes peace, unity, attitudinal change and purposeful living among citizens, have found worthy some important personalities for their humanitarian and selfless services in the society, and thereby held a 2021 edition of award to such persons. Speaking with one of the awardees, Mrs. Safra Tufidelis, she has been able to empower over 50 million with free skills acquisition and she hopes to do more in terms of rendering humanitarian services to others. Uh, sister, we have to appreciate Almighty God for the honor given to my wife today. Uh, actually, as they have said, she started this business, started her business just on the total grass, uh, grass level. But today, to God be the glory, it has grown to a certain level that she has gotten more than many women under her that she trained them free. You know, through that, those women today, they are women of their sex. So I really appreciate this organization, my role, to continue like this and then empower many other women. I love you Thank you. Uh, in my own case, we want to make it very clear. She is nominated by daily trust because they are the one that when they did the interview with her, do everything that, in fact, this did everything that she's doing and they nominated her for this award. We have never made a day for today. Wow. But she has done wonderful. Wow. She has been on daily trust for impacting the life of women. In fact, she has trained more than 50 women. Now they are doing their business, helping their husbands at this side by side. Thank you very much. I'm happy that the way I do. I so I don't do um, just like that, but as the two way they do, I don't see them. Um, I see the the this the way they do and it's good for me from today it's good. So maybe we don't need to do more, you know, winning this award, we need help you to do more. I will do more. Tell people say the business what they do. Fine. The, good, the business is good. What kind of business? I buy young, sell young, peel young, I get inch where did they peel How many people you don't train so far? I train like 15 people. 15 to 20. They come, they, they come, but they don't get money. They don't get money where they go do business. So me at the cry say what well, they go be help us. Just government they help us, they give them money small, small. May they start the business. When me I start. Say now I they enjoy the business now. So what do you encourage women when they're outside like you will not get anything today? What do you encourage me to do? The women where are they the two where they tell them say may they do business because business is good. Business, they help people, they help person. Like your husband, if you not get, the day when they get, you go fee, do one. But if you not do business, every day you go sit down, you go carry your hand, put them for your mouth, they say, hey, what I go chop for my children? What I go do? But now, if you do business, they think you go help person, well, well. If you, uh, your husband not get, carry your picking, go school, go train them. So the business is good. Thank you. Thank you. If truly we want to solve the issue of insecurity, three things must be laid in place, whether we like it or not. First, I believe we must make sure we take care of children out of school, out of school children. Secondly, we must make sure we give back to children we can be able to cater for. Thirdly, we must create an enabled environment for the youth to strive. If these things were not there, believe me, we will continue to have a double problem 
as Oolu, as Oolu was say earlier. Another thing again that I want us to understand is this. By the time we neglect the less privileged citizens among us, we are harming ourselves. We do not, I don't want us to think as if we are neglecting them because it's necessary for us to neglect them. It's our duty to take care of each other. And if you don't do that, those less privileged citizens that are among us will be able to create more problems for us. And I believe for those our 